cast as many made of cast steel. I thought that was fun. So yeah. Cast this, cast steel. Sure. What? We've been away for a couple weeks, bitches, but we're back. Let me open this other drink. When one's not enough and two's not enough. So what's your guys' favorite Taco Bell sauce? Hot. Hands down. Hot <laughs> is the best. Nope. It's mild. Mild <laughs> is a close second as far as flavor goes. Mild. Alright. Mild is flavor town. Mild. Mild may as well be water. It yeah. Might as well be ketchup. Mild is so. mildew no. without the ew, okay? Hot is just the perfect. It's not. You don't you don't go to your Chris. You do not go to your drug dealer and say, "Oh man, I want that medium or I want that hot." You say, Some "I days. want I want that fire." You always want the fire. What if you have shit to do today? Nah, nope, nope. And if he tries to sell you some and Diablo, the sauce for the man on the <laughs> If the fire tastes like shit, I don't want it, regardless of how good it is. No, it tastes it tastes fine. It tastes bad. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I think the you mild. taste bad. That's the mild compliments the almost meat very well. No, mild is... Alright, Danny, what's your vote? I think you get two votes in this. <laughs> You're muted! Dumbass. Taco Bell's trash. I don't want to vote. Big! <laughs> this well, is how Trump gets the elected. This is pretty good, though. That's a guy who doesn't vote. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> Plays at fault for Trump. You're at fault for Taco Bell sauce. I basically like him. So, so, I just like Cheetos a lot. And I thought, you know, the orangutans could use a win. You just want to lick his small hands. I mean, What's after- his Small hands give What's... me rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> after Harambe. <What's> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kirby's hey guys. trying to get hard from that visual. <laughs> so it's hot sauce. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. whether or not I should do a Trump impression. You should always the do a Trump impression. not do it. I just don't know. I can't grab all of it. <laughs> Alright, on. Daddy T's tiny hands. The hot sauce. Daddy T's? Hot tees. sauce. Two votes. Daddy T. God. Oh, and I feel good. Ew. <laughs> I mean, I voted half of my. The best part. Most certainly the best part. Hey, please comment in the video with what sauce. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? What yeah, Taco Bell sauce? What Taco Bell hot sauce? Hot sauce. Hot. Today's hot stream sauce. is not at all officiated with Taco Bell. But also, it is. Sponsor it is well, because we could be. <laughs> I we could be Taco Bell. If we should there. be because we fucking love Taco Bell. Yeah, um, we eat it on the daily, damn near. One day. of I'll us. Take, I'll take a free taco on any of those days. You guys already give out free tacos. Is <laughs> <laughs> and we'll eat them on stream. I I probably won't. I'll probably Only eat if it I when can I get, get it. hot sauce. I promise I'll go there consistently. <laughs> Dude, I will. Especially when I'm drunk. I will eat T Bell every Thursday on stream. We're play. We're we're paid in promises. I would totally eat T Bell every Thursday on stream. Yeah, and I'll pay for the food too. I don't give a fuck. I'll I'll buy the food, but they gotta pay me. Yeah, all they have to do is sponsor the stream. That's it. They don't have to pay me. I already eat it. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'll just eat it on stream if they like. Give us some advertising slots. That's why, or else we have to blur it out and it look like you're eating dicks. <laughs> or we could just blur it out with cartoon dicks. That's the only family-friendly way to go about sponsorships. You only have to blur it out if people watch. That's true, but Trendon knows. Trendon does know. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay if you have less than, like, you know, a thousand viewers or something. Hey, we had 60 minutes watched in the last... 24 hours. Let's not talk good. about stats on stream. Let's talk about stats on stream. My That's the only stat tiny... that we have. <laughs> We've got that one. Any other stats for the stream? Four is bigger than two. Yeah. I peed one and a half times today. Figure it out. You do the math. All right. <laughs> All right. Someone's revved up. Yeah, they're racing horses. <laughs>
Dude, that horse is not okay. <laughs> that was Piston. That is the sound Piston makes when he gets all pumped. Piston's was... a bitch. Everybody know out of body Sky Coleman is a horse. <laughs> Whoa. Piston isn't a horse. McDonatorium? <laughs> Piston is not a horse. McDonatorium the McDot is a graceful being. I think McDonatorium the McDot has. You can't tell me she okay. has some HPs in that, in that booty. <laughs> um, just a fun fact for our viewers, horsepower is the amount of energy you get when you burn a horse. <laughs> Dude, that is great. That is a great joke. And on that note, we'll see you next week. <laughs> That's the best. We're so, last tonight. time on Thule. Brum, brum, brum. I've got spooky music. Mus music. <laughs> Easy oh, for you guys. to say. <laughs> You guys descended into the sewers below. Wait, let me like this. We're gonna switch songs. One. Into the sewers. Aggressively. And then swam down. Unlocked a few gates. Walked over a carpet of snakes. Almost without care. And he felt a little bad at the end, really. <laughs> So then Cap you guys burn them all. Not bad enough. You didn't feel that bad. You thought about feeling bad. Then you decided, well, who's got time? Nobody, that's who. And you carried on through the sewers, finding some massive water wheels cranking away. Getting some very interesting knowledge from Capwan's pretty impressive knowledge roll. And you kept on your way downward to a room, a circular room, uh, long range from side to side, uh, a, a circle in the middle, in which Bell realized there was a, a sort of key or a lock, and you guys began as a group to turn the three-tiered stone seals until the image on top, a uh, circle inset with a triangle, with uh, curved sides, concave sides. And once the, the image was complete, <clears throat> large, <laughs> twisting, the water in the room stopped coming out of the heads. As the central pillar began to rise, looked around you to see out of the four stone heads, massive snakes with the five feet in uh, diameter begin to emerge and as you did three of them lock eyes towards the middle and everybody needs to roll some initiative Ooh. <laughs> uh, oh yeah I'm gonna say you guys aren't prepared for this totally agree <laughs> Or snakes coming out of heads. But they're stone heads. They're not real heads. Not yet, they're not. Dang it. <clears throat> Jesus. Roll a... Combat, or... Enzo. Enzonius? Yes. Chris, roll initiative, not regular vigilance. Oh, my bad, yeah, yeah, yeah. Combat initiative. There you go. Like that. Enzo's got dice in his bowl. Damn. Damn, Enzo! Okay. So... Who's like three success, anybody? Enzo. Enzo, Bell. Castus. I have two. I can't believe my Six vigilance roll. That's ridiculous. With four die, I only got one success. All right, so... Um... All right, so two success was Castus. Yep, and six advantage. All right, and then <clears throat> one success. Half one with a bunch. Oh, you rolled Enzo twice. Yeah, I, I'm only using the one without the purple dice. Oh, word. Yeah, right on. Sorry. Yeah, five advantage. 
One success, five no. advantage for cap one. No, no advantage or no successes. Cannon. <laughs> what? What about me? I need to roll again. That's pretty much Cannon's no. response. <laughs> <laughs> There's what about me? Two days late. What? <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> from the from the edge of this circular room, there's a stone in the middle now. Uh, a pillar, the, the a, a, a stone pillar has risen from the floor, and maybe six inches of water on the on the the ground. And out of the four corners, you see snakes start coming out. Uh, from the side of the room, uh, Enzo and Bell uh, react quickest. Uh, Bell, you can lead the way. You see, oh boy. Um, from the two heads on either side of the door. Uh, so there's one across the room from you, left and right, and then there's one slightly off to your left. Um, across the room is long range, uh, side of the room, like midway, across is mid medium, this side is short range. Um, you see a snake, t two snakes to your left and one to your right, one short range, the medium one, the second one on the left, medium range, the si first one on the right, medium range. Um, you can't see across to the other side, there's a pillar in the way. Okay. <clears throat> So you're in the middle of the room by the column. Is it long range all the way across the room? Yes, from one side to the other is long range. Okay. And I'm in the middle with somebody. With Bell. Okay. Yeah, I think I misspoke. Sorry. So basically, you're surrounded by snakes all coming out of yep. the walls. That damn. Sounds, sounds <laughs> good. Um, I'm gonna use uh, steady aim, so my character does not lose the benefits of the aim maneuver. Um, even if I do other stuff until the encounter ends, so I'm gonna use that and then uh, My action is gonna be to do a uh, field commander okay. And we'll do a uh, average leadership check Okay <clears throat> You want me to put the dice in for that? Um, yes, please for combat. Let's try and put our own dice in so I don't have to click around as much as me cool. All right. Okay. All right. So everybody can. Or wait. Let me. I'm sorry. I gotta reread the talent to make sure I'm not. Yeah. Okay. So everybody can take uh, one strain to perform a maneuver out of turn. If anybody wants to, you can do that now, and then my turn's over. I will do that, and I will. Go ahead and use. Uh, I'll use the maneuver to aim with my reflex bow uh -huh. to trigger okay. to trigger uh, my sneak attack. Okay. Uh, um, Enzo is also going to do it. And he's going to head towards the middle of the room with Bell. Yeah. Is the, <laughs> it, will I be able to make it from? So Cap One is. Um, so it's three range bands across, right? So that means the middle is. Uh, one and a half. Two, 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 like two away, basically. Okay. We have to use two, two maneuvers to get there, since we can't do halves. Um, but you, um, so Cap One and Cannon are at the edge of the room in the tunnel, and Enzo just walked out. He's heading towards the middle, so he's like halfway between the pillar and the wall. Um, I'll <clears throat> be right there with him. You going in? Yeah. All right. Take your strain from that. Yep. Anybody else moving? Um, I would like to use take the strain from Bell's thing and uh challenge one of the snakes. Alright. Um so were you and Bell on the same side of the rock as we were pushing it? Like would you um, be next to each other or like do opposite? I would assume sides we're too? like opposite but just me. Whichever one's closest to me, I, I want to challenge. All right. And I pull out my sword and I point it right at it and just twist it a little bit. And then get into a... Alright, so as you look back, so you're on the side towards the tunnel. Uh, Bell is on the side isolated um, farthest away from the tunnel. So you guys, after the pillar rose, you guys wouldn't be able to see her anymore. Oh, so we got split by the pillar? Yeah. Well, if you guys are on opposite sides, I just rolled. I to think see we who were on yeah. what side. I think so. so. Okay. I would like to <clears throat> use my maneuver then to 
uh, run over to Bell. Just get eyes on push. Bell. Yeah, you can get around this with the wheel maneuver. Yeah. And just get and be like, right, get behind me. All right. So as as you okay. see turn around, Bell, and you don't see any of your teams, and then straight ahead of you against the wall, there's a snake. Left and right side, you shout to the team to inspire them, and right after that, you hear the slushing of water as Castus comes barreling around the side and comes next to you with the sword. Get behind me, Enzo and Cap One head towards the middle of the room, and Cannon from the edge of the edge of the chamber pulls back his bow and starts zooming in on one, zeroing in rather. Um, it's Enzo's turn. He's going to finish heading towards the middle, and kind of as he's moving towards, knock an arrow. And he's going to aim for uh, medium range. Aim for one of the snakes on the edge. Uh, that did something. So as he comes in, he looks to the left and he's charging in. He knocks it on the way, and then as he's is getting any... to the pillar, pulls Sorry, back. Sorry, is there any adversary? Um, let me check. I think there is. Good catch. Actually, no, these ones aren't adversary. Good catch, though. Thank you. Um, so that is a lot of damage. Fucking aim. 13. Uh, 13 damage. So. Plus a critical. No crit. He didn't crit. Oh, oh is that advantages? Yeah. yeah. I know it's been a minute. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so... Fucking A, dude. I'm gonna have to do a lot of math. You see Enzo pull back, and as he turns left and releases the arrow, the, the distinct twang of his bow, and as the snake takes it, like, right along the, the side of the ching, it lets out this big, like... <sighs> these things are massive snakes coming out of these, too. Alright. What does it look? Does it just look pissed now, or can I even see it? Um, you'd be able to see that one, yeah. So on your left, there's one immediately there, and then there's one on the the left farther. He shot the farther left one, then there's one that's close to you within short range. Okay. And he shot the other one, and it just kind of let out a big hiss and like big like basilisky kind of snakes. So Enzo, did he shoot the one in the corner that's kind of closest to me then? No. Um, the one that's closest to you now. Okay. I'm gonna try my best to keep track and explain things well. Do we do like a little crude drawing? And but I hesitate to do that. Get bogged down in doodle doodle Ramia. Yeah. Yeah, I can if I wanna attack the one he's attacking, I'll just say that and then we can Um, I can do just don't use this for way. any measurements basically is all. Damn, I really need to have a window for this. <laughs> Maybe this doesn't need to be on stream. <laughs> um, uh, so there's that, that, and there's that, and there's that. So, have one you're like in that area. Got this one. Oh, he can't see the one across. Use that. So he shot this one. There's still this one, which is closest to you, and then like two other ones. Okay. That's where the heads were. <clears throat> Castus and Bell are on this side. Enzo's about here. Okay, okay, gotcha. Cannon and Capcom's about done. in the middle of the room. <clears throat> Alright, so. The snake that Enzo just shot is going to close the distance with him. And it is going to. As you see it come out, it's. A massive snake um, on just like the very very high size silhouette one's ability but it's very very long maybe 30 feet long Ooh. and like a fat snake and it comes in and it just slithers through the water and makes an attack it had defense remind me these have one range and one melee defense Got it and written down. I don't have any, I don't think. I don't have any defense now. Coming in. <clears throat> Alright, it's gonna bite hard on Enzo. Uh, 
Um, that is nine damage. All right, and then um, remind me here: if you take damage from this, you have to take a make a hard resilience check. Ooh, hard is four or three? Three. He succeeds. Go, Enzo, go. Damn, and, Enzo. Um, the, the three threat on the attack, I'm going to let Enzo make a free maneuver, and he's going to back up uh, <clears throat> towards where he came from, kind of back towards Cap 1. All right. <clears throat> Am I over by Enzo and Cap 1, too? You're at the mouth of this, this cave. Okay. They both ran out with their free maneuver that Bell gave him, and you stayed still, so. Gotcha. Okay. Um, next up is this snake up here. It is going to uh, head towards uh, Bell and Castus. Um, Castus is probably closer, so it's going to close in and make an attack on Castus. Um, what's your defense for melee? One. I think. <clears throat> Two. Two. All right. Six damage. Pierce one. Um. I'm gonna parry. Okay. So that's three strain. And then that won't get through. Okay, I'll give you a boost die on your take you on your next turn with three, the two threat on this one. Nice. All right, and then the other snake on this wall is going to come in for Bell. Yes. Any defense, Bell? No. All right, <clears throat> it's coming in, doing a lot of the same. Comes in, slithers through as you see uh, the other snake to your right and Castus. Uh, intervene between you and it comes in and bites and he shoves its sword between its big mouth and kind of it bites down but the the fangs don't quite get to him you look over to your left and you see a second snake swimming or slithering towards you quickly and it opens up <clears throat> and bites down hard and um so it's eight damage pierce one yep that gets through all right yep. and make a hard resilience check for me um okay you got something now, yeah, you I, can I, wanna, do? I wanna parry. I have bulwark, so I can parry on engaged allies as well. Okay. So, how much does that reduce? It reduces by three. So, does that get through now with three less damage? Yes. It still gets through? Yes. Okay, so, uh, however much damage that is, take that and then make a hard resistance check for me. Yes. Right, let's see. Fail. Right, so you take four oh, more boost, damage. I've, that boost should not be in there, but that's okay. The advantage don't do anything. Um, four more additional wounds. Yet, as as it bites is into that, your arm, that, as Castus, is, is as not, Castus uh... shoves the sword in and punches his away, and he kind of gets in and like punches the snake in the side of the head, deflecting it a little bit, but the the fang still sinks into your side arm. Does the <clears throat> soap do anything to that? Not to that. No. Is out of character, is this something that's going to be ongoing? Like a burn or a... Or a or you don't a... know yet. Out of character. Okay. <laughs> Part of the mysteriousness. Uh, but you feel this venom pulsing through your body, and it hurts pretty good. All right, and then got one more snake. That was my third snake. All right, <clears throat> Cap One, you're up. Uh, snake immediately to your left, and then one that just charged in and hit Enzo, who's in front of you. And then across the side, you saw a snake, and you heard some fighting happening, but you can't see on the other side of this pillar. You can't see Castus and Bell. Uh, I'd like to position myself to where I can see Castus, Bell, and Enzo. All right, so you can use maneuver to go up towards this wall up here and be able to see them. Okay. <coughs> um, and that'll put me in what kind of a range band? 
Um, you'll be medium from uh, all of them except for this one. Will be long. No, no, no. Uh, cast this bell and. Uh, you didn't go. No. What was yours? Sorry. I, you might have. You might have should have gone before the snakes. I had two success and six advantage. Yeah, you should have gone before those. My bad. You can go now. They had two. They, they you had more advantage. They had two success. So. Um, I would like to attack the one that just bit Bell, and as my maneuver, I go, and Nimbus is gonna jump out and help me attack. I think he's my. I don't have to uh, move. Okay. So he gets an attack as well. On the same one, the not the one yep. attacking you, but the one attacking Bell. Yeah. Okay. Um, they have one melee defense. Got it. I get the boost from then. Yep. No adversary. No adversary. I feel like this is a good time. I can upgrade for you. Or you can upgrade. Oh no, I'm I'm oh, okay. activating. Hmm. So as I see Bell get bit, like my eyes start to kinda get that bluish ghostly color as I and Nimbus comes out with that same bluish ghost to attack and I go for a strike. Yeah, and as you, as you, after the second time, you, you punch the head and the snake's fangs kind of still glanced off of Bell. You feel this power well up in you and you hear this voice in your head, protect them. Then you feel the light of your eyes and the sword start to glow. <coughs> and... <sighs> what an interesting roll. <laughs> Critical! 13 damage, Pierce, Pierce two. 2. All right, so that does get through. I would hope so. And I'm going to crit with 1, and then plus 5, because fuck them. Plus 5 vicious? Yeah. Okay. Criticals. And and then uh, Nimbus gets his attack off too. Oh, hold on. I didn't put any perps in. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh. that's like an auto hit. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Same boost die visual, same hardest. visual happen. But slightly different outcome. Oh, a crit. Just no 50 if you want to use the triumph for a crit. Uh, yeah, Triumph is for the crit, and then so, uh, so. 15 damage pierce 2 with the crit. Okay. No 50 offset. But we'll see what happens. Off balance. So as you come in, first the punch, and then you feel the power, and you come from the punch and just grab the side of your sword, and you got a massive cleaving blow into the side of the thing's head, and you see it kind of recoil back. And... then Nimbus... Does five damage pierce two? Got pierce? Yeah, he's got teeth. That's teeth. I like for some reason the companion roll's not working, but okay. Um, what was it again? Sorry. Five damage. Five damage pierce two. Yeah. All right. So you see him come up on the side and like bounce, like no splash, jump into the water, and then jump up on the side and kind of. <laughs> And his teeth get through just a tiny bit, and you see a little bit of blood come out by his fangs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this is a setback, so let me forget that. Alright. Um, cap one. So, I wanted to use my movement to get to where I could see, cast this bell. Yes, yeah, so you just saw and, that exchange. Enzo, all with an eye shot. Okay, and then I'm going to cast Barrier on myself with additional target and range, and I'm going to use my signature spell. Okay, so you're medium from, uh, I think, everybody. Medium from everybody. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, I forgot to say, my new heroic ability uh, buff gives everyone in a certain amount of range. I'm trying to find that. A uh, boost die. Oh. Do I have a set by setback die in my pool for some reason for something? Defense, probably. Okay, yeah, yeah. defense. Yeah, that's defense. that's what it is. Both, but but uh, I'm not. If you're casting yeah. your teammates, it doesn't count. So that's one plus one. So that's two soak. Plus two soak to Enzo, Castus, and Bell. Uh, no. Let's see, one, two. Yeah, that's three additional targets. So plus two to myself, Castus, Bell, and Enzo. Thanks, man. Just kidding. I'm totally kidding. You're way <laughs> over there. <laughs> I'm totally You're kidding. so far away. <laughs> Gotta go with the group, man. Sorry, bud. Totally. It's okay. It's not a problem. You said two soak? Uh, yeah. All right. Um, <clears throat> this last snake over here is going to come in and uh, see Cannon uh, at the edge, and he's going to close the distance in and 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 uh... wait. No, is is Cannon within medium range? Sorry. Everyone was. And I said that. Your targets have been chosen. It's okay. Is it my turn? Uh, no, the snake's coming for you. Then it's your turn. You're behind oh, yeah. the snake. Oh, yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. roll anything. You rolled, you rolled bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's coming in. Uh, do you have any defense? The cannonator. I do not. All right, so it is going to come in and bite down on you. But as you see, you're kind of able to duck back. Are you? I guess you don't have to duck back. You're right at the mouth of this this tube, and as it comes in, it makes you see it kind of pull back. And as you're aiming, you kind of jump back a bit and dodge around it as this big, massive snake head chomps right past you. It's now your turn. Okay, that one that bit at me. I'm gonna release my shit at him. All right, so he is in short range, so that increases the difficulty unless you have a thing. Um, I don't, but that's okay. So, how many purples should I put in? I think it's three. Three purples. Very engaged. Does that sound right? I can double check real quick. And then I have a boost from Castus, right? Um, depending on his range, if he can find it. Um, I think it's short. Okay. Yeah, so you're farther than that. Uh, I don't get a like, boost for aiming, though, do I? You do get a boost for aiming. You did aim, okay. yeah. I can't find it, though. I'm trying to figure out... Additional combat modifiers. Range attack and engage targets. I'm an ally. Okay, nope. Uh, yes, the difficulty of range attack is increased. And then the snake will get a boost die when it attacks you. Cool. Okay. Sorry. Okay, I am ready to shoot, I believe. Roll away. Boop. So even though the snake was coming really close, you kind of jump back and, like, point blank, like, release and push, and the arrow flies maybe two feet out of your bow and digs itself in the side. So that's uh, 12 damage. 12 damage. 12 damage. And then, um, I guess I'll back away from it. Uh, into the tunnel? Or, or, um, or into the room? Into the room. A range band, I guess. All right. So you head yep. towards the middle of the room. Yeah, but um, I'm like strafing at it. I'm just keeping yeah. an eye on it. Yep. All right, back to the top. So Enzo uh, is locked in combat with the snake. He is and have a melee weapon. Oh shoot! Oh, that's okay. I didn't say it. Next up. Yeah. 
Um, <clears throat> he's gonna take another uh, shot at the snake. Did he move to the center? Because he would get a boost. He's he's in the middle. Okay, good. Thank you. And then a setback. We should have a setback on that, Danny, but that's okay. Got the same. Um, Menzo's bow. Quang. So even though he just got bit, he kind of does the same thing. Knocks another arrow and quick draw point blank. Um, that does twelve damage. Nine, eleven damage. One damage. That. Another thing in the side, and he's going to uh, move towards cannon. And for flare of his attack, what the boost is, the snakes I killed in the room before spirits like following his arrows. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Little snake splashes attacking on the side. Uh, the same color as like Nimbus and stuff, and just like bell, <laughs> bells up. Um, I'm going to shoot whatever snake is closest to me. The one that just bit you. Yeah, they that just one. just got hacked on the side of the head. That <laughs> one, I'm gonna shoot it with my flintlock pistol. All right, and, so okay. Three is purple it for engaged? Is it engaged? It is very much. Okay. Three purple for engaged, one setback for the defense, and one boost for castuses. Is the, do I need to put the setback in? Yes, please. Okay, got it. <laughs> oh, I'm a gun. Bam! And I miss. Right as you do it, misfires as it clicks down. <laughs> and you're going to have to, you're going to have to cog it again. Yeah, you can pass a boost to I will do that. the next person, which is cast us. I will do that. And then is my maneuver, is there, can I like back up out of engaged range with the um, snake? Yeah, you have to pick a way uh, towards cap one or the way towards the no one, basically. You can only see cap one. You um, can't go straight backwards. There's a pole behind you, so you got to pick a, a yeah, direction. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll go towards cap one. Is that, will that give me a medium or short range from it? Um, That'll get you short range. That's good. Yeah, that'll work. I'll okay. do that and then that's it. All right, and then it is the Snakus's turns again. Um, the snake that attacked Enzo after getting shot with a second arrow and them hurting pretty fucking bad, um, is going to use an incidental, and as it kind of comes in, it, st it starts moving really quickly and wraps around Enzo, and it uh, it coils around him. And uh, it's going to use a maneuver to constrict. Um, oh, wait, no, I think I have to do a different thing. So as it's wrapped around, it's going to make a tail attack. Oh, no, it's not. It's going to grapple him with his tail. So... Uh, until the start of uh, uh, the snake's next turn, it's going to take Enzo two maneuvers to disengage instead of one. Basically, is how the grapple works. Um, so Enzo is considered grappled, and the snake is going to attack him. So it comes in and wraps around Enzo, and will make an attack. Doesn't have any defense. So he reach back and bites in. Uh, that's eight damage. Ten damage. Because it's it's a savage attack. When it attacks something, it is grappling. So it does What's extra. That uh, it does two extra damage to things that it attacks while it's wrapped around. Yes. Jesus and... Christ. <laughs> so it's 10 damage pierce one to Enzo. Gotta do math is hard. Enzo takes this big chomp 
And, uh, oh, we gotta roll a hard fucking resilience check now. Alright, Enzo. Takes four more damage. Shh. Enzo goes unconscious. Oh, shit. Dang. Roll the unconscious. All right, you see Enzo immediately the snake barrel in and wrap around and then kind of rear back and bite down on like the upper half of his body. And you see like his head disappear for a second and then it pulls back out and there's these bite marks around him in a crescent shape. And he's just sitting there like wrapped up in the snake's well, jaws. <clears throat> Clay, we have a deadlier rule. So instead of rolling a random, we rolled the 121. Oh, we do? Yeah. <laughs> This is the first okay. time we've ever had to use this mechanic. Yeah, we made it. I like, forgot. Oh, I, remember, wow. I remember 120? 120? 120? No, no, no. Try 130. So heal that. I guess you can just do it and heal it after. Nope, not that. 125? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One minute, one train at the beginning of every round. That's, what, that's if you're conscious and you roll it naturally. The next part. If you get not is what happens when you get knocked out via that. Okay. Um. Rolls being uh, basically he can't he start has, each turn. This is kind of like death rows. Yeah. Wait. So what am I rolling at the start? Jeez. So you're rolling hard resilience. And then I roll a random critical. Yeah. Every turn, and then if he fails, it's just another crit. Which, the effects are ignored, but like, yeah, but it could be the deadly one. Yeah. All oh. right, Enzo is uh, in a bit of a sticky wicket. Next snake. To do his first <laughs> death throw. Are we doing it now? Should we wait till the start of his next turn? It's usually the start of the next. Yeah, I think turn. we should wait till the okay. start of the next turn. Cool. Um. All right, so the snake that was now behind Castus, because you turned and helped Bell, is going to um, make another attack at you. Um, two defense. How many do you have melee defense? Are you talking, who are you talking? Castus, it's attacking you. Uh, two melee. Sorry, these are fucking roofers. Okay. Right, so seven damage, Pierce one. Don't uh, it don't forget get through with barrier. Doesn't one okay. of them get us? Is this one that gets the setback, or is it the next one? The next one. The okay, one that he was I just wanted to. All right, so you he comes down. You feel this pressure from behind, and this like bolt, but then you feel the flicker of, um, it was blood magic, wasn't it? This dark smoke and hiss kind of comes up off the teeth as it scratches across this darkened shell. <laughs> as it appears when it comes in around you. It was divine. Was it? Okay, then it's like that twilighty, sparkly, purple glitter magic. <laughs> um, this is the one uh, with the setback, and it's going to attack Castus as well. After those big chomps that just happened. Bring it, bitches. All right, so can't crit. Uh, I'm gonna say with these two snakes attacking you, uh, you kind of get knocked off balance a little bit, um, and just give you a setback on your next. He's got a boost for me. The triumph one or two setbacks. It's upgrade downgrades. Oh, then you'll get a you'll get a it'll be one upgrade on the harder side. Uh, your next thing because you just had two massive snakes slam into the back and then the front. Okay. But yeah, once again, the barrier flickers to life and prevents you from taking damage. Uh, Capuan, you're up. So you can see everyone and everything that's happening. You see Cannon dodge away, Enzo get wrapped, and then two snakes attack Then you skip me again. Cass yeah, he did. Oh, shit. Yep, sorry. Cassus is up. I'm gonna rewrite my fucking list. I like wrote you in as an arrow, but you're not a normal sized thing. Hard being um, the guys. one that I just i hit last round i don't know which i think that was the one that hit me in the back i want to turn around and the one that you hit is in front of you oh um i went to try to cut off its fucking head 
The one in front or behind? The uh, same one that you hit? The one that's damaged? The same one that I hit, yeah, in front. Okay. Um, yeah, so do the upgrade and then one setback for... I am going to use my maneuver to aim. Okay. God, either he's right on this fucking <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> like, of course. Like, they were on the other side of the house earlier, but now when we start doing this, it's all good, man. Right it's there. all good. All right. Uh, I upgraded my difficulty. Yeah, right and click. then a setback for the defense. Got it. Okay. <laughs> All right, how do you want to kill a snake? Uh, with it then. You kind of want cleave to push in. The, 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 the one that just bit me, I like uh, push it back, do in that motion, do a spin, and just cleave the one's head off. That bit bell. Yep. You well, do that, and then. You kind of knock the one back, it kind of recoils for a second, and then you spin and chop. And there's a bit of resistance because the scales on these are pretty thick, which you kind of push, and then you push again to finish all the way down. And I... Uh, I mean, it's a math of snakes, so you probably don't get all the way through, but you probably cut a two-foot deep, just cleave into the top of it. That'll come off later. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. Um, all right. Cap one is up now. Or, wait, did I do snakes? Yeah, yeah, you did snakes two before snakes. me again. Two snakes yeah. before? Well, it's okay. cast us, then those two snakes, and then cap one. But there's you did three the snakes, snakes before. between, so yeah. there's another snake then. Uh, no, that was all of them, because two of them attacked cast us. So yeah, there was one. Yeah, the one that hit Enzo, and then the two that hit attacked cast us. Yeah, so yep. cap one's up. Sorry. Um... <clears throat> um... How hard is it going to be for me to get hands on Enzo with him all wrapped up in a snake? He's wrapped in a snake. It's not going to be given. You gotta try it or not try it. Alright, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to... I'm going to heal at range. Okay. Um from where I'm standing, and I'm also going to have to add revive to that, so that's going to be three purple. And then add a setback, because he's partially in cover. Okay. Can do. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, also to note, what we can do is if you have bandages, you can stop the bleeding for one round, so he doesn't have to make a death throw. I, yeah. If I could get to him, I could do that. Which, it's a maneuver to do it, so... But you can you can stop. I'm okay with it. everyone having a bandage unless they thought they would have more. Like the emergency one. Uh, because I forgot yep. about this rule too. I bought because a bunch. That, that that definitely would have been something you guys sudden. would have stocked up on. Yeah, I bought a bunch of sudden at some point. I took something that allows me field medic. Does not need bandages, but anyway, uh, so yeah. so so that revives him, um, and then okay, I don't know if it does it heal any additional wounds uh, from the one. I just what do you need this? on success? How does revive work? It just says plus two purple revive incapacitated may target an inca incapacitated character, so I guess that just heals two wounds. Oh no, on success, heal one wound per uncancelled success, so it's just one wound. Yeah, alright, so, and then revive will bring him back up to, it'll bring him to one hit point, basically. Yeah. Yep. Alright, so Enzo, after you do that, you reach out to the divine energy and kind of see Enzo come, come up, just kind of like, not looking hot, but he's conscious again. And that's that's my turn. I'm not gonna move or anything. I need, I'm gonna spend my maneuver to concentrate on barrier. Okay. Um, snake by cannon. Uh, it's going to attack cannon again. Do any defense? Mm -mm. Ow. Uh, nine pierce one. That Yoki. gets through. 
It does get through. To make a hard resilience check. Hard resilience. So three purples and then roll resilience. Okay. I need to take my strain. Yes, please. Alright, so you, uh... Succeed. No extra cool. damage. You feel the... You feel the venom kind of pulse into you, but then you kind of shake it. Alright. Oh, um, uh... <laughs> then we're back to the top, so... Wait, I go after the snake, don't I? Oh, shit, Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Um... Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to aim. Same shot. Um... <laughs> but... I'm gonna trigger sneak attack. Okay. So if it hits, I oh no, I suffer a strain, and then I add two vicious to okay. the to the attack. And so add upgrade the difficulty once. To three, right? Yeah. And then a boost for aiming. Cool. I think I'm ready. And then yep. And then nice. two vicious. And then also two vicious. Okay. Oh, and crit, though. It, it also does uh, two piercing, sorry, for sneak attack. So it does both. both. Okay, so, cool. Yeah. Um, so that is 11 damage pierce two. Or sneak number that one. 11 damage pierce two. Two vicious. That is hard. Draw another arrow into the side of its scales. Um, the vicious doesn't trigger because it's not a crit. Okay. Uh, vicious increases the modifier by ten. Then I will use the two advantages to go ahead and use the talent disorient. Okay. So after hitting with the combat attack, I may spend two advantage to disorient target for a number of rounds equal to my ranks, and it's just one rank, so one round of disorient. Okay. On the snake. And that. That the is setback, a setback. Right? Yeah. Setback. Cool. Um, all right. Now we're back in this Enzo's turn. Um, he is going to kind of push back and fight. He's going to use his two maneuvers to climb out of Snake and get up towards Cap 1. He's moving towards Cap 1 kind of like a... <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so that's his whole turn is getting the fuck out of there. Um, Bell. I am going to shoot the snake that was attacking Enzo with my bow. You can't see it. It's on the other side of the pole. I'm right next to a Cap One. Oh, yes, you are. Thank you. Yes, you can see it. Um, It's, uh, how, what range is it? Short. Short, so I have a medium range bow. What is, is that three or two? purple. I think it means it can't shoot farther than that. Right, oh, right, 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 so it's okay. One, yeah, just one. Then a setback for the defense. Yes, got it. Alright, ready to go. Julio. And a shoot. Ooh, good hit. And I will critical. Fuck yeah. Alright. Um, how do you want to kill a snake? Oh, shoot it right in the eye. <laughs> So after after you kind of is fighting with Enzo and he's kind of pushing and fighting away from it and he starts running towards him as he's about halfway towards you you pull out your gun, bow and oh yeah it's a bow, this time, <laughs> uh, pull out your bow and loose an arrow, and it flies right in the eye and it's kind of like coming towards down towards Enzo and it just <laughs> kind of like falls forward and coils up. Uh, Castus now to not forget him. Um. There's one so there's the you. one right on my back. Yeah, the other one's dead in front of you. Do a little. Ah! And do the good old Cassus Nimbus attack. Okay. One defense. Got the defense. Turn around with a slash. Jesus. Yeah. 13 damage, Pierce 2 will get through. Um, There's that crit plus 5 vicious if you want it. 
And then the Nimbus. That does four damage, Pierce one. Four damage, Pierce one. Uh, does not make it. Ah, he kind of skits off some scales. Sorry, Pierce, Pierce two. Four, yeah, four damage, Pierce two. He'll just grind his teeth on scales this time. <laughs> 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 Good job, Nimbus. <laughs> I'm uh, critting with five vicious. Alrighty. Offset. 50. Roll critical. The end is no. not. Oh, oh man. man. 97 roll. Fuck yeah. Damn, dude, that's high. That is high as fuck. After the last set of initiative slot during the next round. So he's got two turns, basically, is what it says. Mm hmm. Um, all right, you hit this guy like right in the side of the face and like an eye comes out oh. and like it's gushing blood out, but, um, and it's definitely, it's going to attack you. And Nimbus picks up a little eye. <laughs> 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 it's going Amazing. to, uh, use an incidental to wrap around you. Oh God. And it's going to take a bite in this way. Two setback for you. For defense? Yeah, for melee, yeah. Coming in with the fangs. That will do a 10 pierce one. Did I get through? Yeah, yeah, that gets through. And then do a hard resilience. As the gun, like, it wraps around you and the blood is, like, bleeding onto you from above. Is this considered a poison? Um, yes, it is. I have the talent blooded, so I reduced the difficulty of poison checks. All right. That's pretty dope. It came in handy very quickly. Wait, wait, wait. wait I wait. guess I don't know how long you've had it, but it came in had handy. It for a very, very long time. Well, it's, it's here now. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I just had a boost. Sorry. Okay. Our resilience. Oh, I gotta do the dice. Sorry. Spicy roll, man. All right. Oh. Nothing at all. Feel the warmth almost a little bit in your blood, and you just kind of like ah, scream back at it, and you just feel it dissipate. <laughs> As once again, My eyes just light gushing up blue blood. Again, I go, you power me. <laughs> all right, so uh, that's the spot. That snake is dead. That snake is dead. That snake just went. That one's up. <laughs> um. I am going to do something I haven't done before. I'm going to try to heal everybody. Last time he did that, a giant walking thing came from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Additional target, range, okay. How is that triumph spent? As to advantage or? Uh, blood can't heal. Oh. Blood can't heal. Uh, well, Back. do you want me to reroll it as divine? Yeah, I'd absolutely. I for sure want you to reroll it as divine. Same roll. The triumph doesn't exist. Triumph, so, yeah, see, not found. So I guess I'm going to heal Enzo and myself. For one wound. Cool. Enzo is slowly feeling a little bit better. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nikon Cannon is I'm gonna attack again, I think. Um. Actually, you know what he's gonna do? Oh, he can't do all of it. I want him to do all of it. He is gonna do all of it. It's gonna be dope. So he's going to, um, wrap Cannon with the upper part of his body. You're gonna have to bear with me here because technically it's possible. We're just gonna have to picture a snake doing it. <laughs> Actually, he can do that first. Um, so as he looks back and sees that two of the other snakes have died, he can't see the third one. 
um, he's going to whip out uh, with his tail and attack Cat One. He's casting these spells. Do um, you have any range defense? No. All right, you're getting tail whip. Watch. Damn. I rolled super hard. <laughs> Um, it is stun damage as well, uh, so it's it's strain damage. But uh, nine, your silk will inf influence that. So it's nine minus my soak, minus your soak to your strain. And it's stun damage. Okay. Not a. I'm still cap one. <laughs> not, not a coyote. But... <laughs> <laughs> Still cap one. All right. Um, and that ends his... She's going to slither towards you, I think, as well. After. So he's heading towards the group. He poisoned cannon. Yeah, that makes sense. Cannon's up. Oh, just he doesn't want to fight me anymore? Uh, he He's poisoned you and saw that it took effect, so he's... That's really mean. Um, the dick. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the same shot. He's heading and... towards the group of three, is what it is, really. Okay. Well, since he's step back, blithering away from me. Yeah. Step back. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Ricochets out into the water. Can I still heal strain, or is that yeah. only with magic? You okay, can, cool. You can do that with any success. Heal. Manage. Heal a little bit, add more at ease as he's going away, and you get to fight at range now instead of having to be in a bow using snake dodger. Is it a strain for two? Is that how it goes? I think one is one strain. That's how we've been doing it, right? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, and then I will guess I'll chase after it. Love it. I will be right back. All right, so back to the top with Enzo. He'll pull his bow out and shoot the one coming towards him. Short range. Short range, one purple? Yep. Oh, Enzo, shoot it with the bow. Enzo, hot. Isn't working. This. All right, nine damage gets through, and he's gonna crit it. Dizzy dazzles. It's looking really rough. Um, bells up. Um, snake coming. There's a snake that Cassus is wrapped in currently and bleeding all over him profusely. It looks pretty fucked currently. And the other one looks pretty fucked too, but it's coming towards you, Enzo, and uh, Cap One. Is the one with his eye out the one that wrapped me up? Yeah. Can I shoot the one that's coming towards me and Cap One? Yeah. Okay. Short range. One range sure. defense. I think I got it already. Alright, let her rip. Boink. Just a bit outside. Yes. <laughs> I was got nervous and Yep. Alright, cast us. I want to break free. So without I fighting, it's two maneuvers to get out? Oh, boy. Okay. Can I fight? You absolutely can hit it again. While I'm wrapped up? Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to do that then. Oops. Okay. 
All right. Um. One melee defense. How would you like to kill the Isle of the Snake? Um, I managed to get, like, my arms out, and then I just take its head and push it on the top through the sword, so it's just... <laughs> you go in through the side that's missing an eye, and, like, you go in through the weak bit. Uh, it's and dead, and it kind of, you feel, you? like, the, the pressure from it being around you release, and it's just, like, limp snake now. And how You're far away range from am I group? from the other snake? Uh, probably medium. You short range from the group that is going towards. Okay. Um, then I will. I'll move. I'll move into there, with Nimbus. All right. And it is not that snake's turn. It is Capone's turn. I'm still. Engaged with Bell, right? Yep. Emperor, I'm gonna Emperor. I'm gonna put my hands on her. Whoa! <laughs> it's I mean, okay. You're engaged. Yeah, we're engaged, man. <sighs> what did that do wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Heal four wounds. Oh, that that feels great. I feel a lot better. <laughs> I can't tell if that was sarcasm or not. No, I feel a lot <laughs> strain. Oh yeah, thank you, two strain. Oh, ho, 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 we're getting there, boys. <laughs> All right, this is the That'd last snake. He's, he's coming in, and um, oh, I'm trying to think who he would see. I assume cast is coming in and uh, get in the way kind of way. Of course. Um, actually, we're just going to roll. Or if you will let randomness decide who gets attacked. Yeah! Okay. It's cast us anyways. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright, so two setbacks coming in hard. He's coming in with the fangies. Gazzle! He missed. Um, then it's cannon, then everybody else. Let's end the snake. Cannon's up. Okay. You see it come in and cast this as he runs into the middle, kind of putting himself in the way the snake comes down and bites at him, but as it's coming down, cast this, like, uses the flat of his sword and, like, pushes it with both hands away and it kind of flashes away. Okay, I will... Textbook deflection. Go ahead and aim again. Uh-huh. Do you have Go a thing where you can shoot with allies and engaged? Uh, no. All right, upgrade it. <laughs> <laughs> upgrade, upgrade the difficulty. <laughs> no, you, you don't have that talent? He's... No. Damn. We'll, we'll right. see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna shoot Enzo. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Setback. <laughs> I'm, I'm at a good range. I'm not engaged with it anymore, right? Correct, you're short. It's one purple, but it's upgraded. One upgrade. Yeah, I have the upgrade, but I have one purple. And then left. one setback for the defense. Right. Yep, that's all. Just, okay, just let me know if this is right. That's right. Hey, okay. look at that. How, how do you want to kill it? Um, literally has two health. Like you almost, whoever did it last time almost got it. <laughs> I kind of want it to. I want the arrowhead kind of to kind of like streak with, like a black film, and just went and just go straight through its head and hit the wall behind it. Nice. Like it just like sharpens and just goes through. Love it. So as you pull back and you see the cast is kind of deflect it and knock it to the side, you see it pull back up, and as it pulls back up, towering over Cassius' head, poof, there's this little splat of blood and this little sound before you hear this clink, and behind you there's an arrow sticking out of a stone wall uh, with blood-covered feathers, and the thing kind of just... And... Shot Thirsty girl! No, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> Com <laughs> combat is concluded. That the uh, when they fucked me up. Ooh. Uh, can we can we not uh do that again? Can we can we go now? Oh, I thought that was riveting. Um, I'm pretty tired though. <laughs> Look, uh, we we did what we were asked to do, Castus. We 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 found out. Some information. We learned. We find? Learned. Learned. Uh, you know where we think they're shipping out the the stuff. So let's just go back. We have not confirmed that yet. And how do you suppose we get out of here, Cap One? Uh. Can not? Can we not go the way we came? Through the caves and the water and the We got thrusted rapids. down a, a water park of Oh yeah, I don't forest. forget, I just don't want to go any fucking further. Cap one, I don't I wanna be out of here as much as you do. Can I uh, give a uh, medicine check to Enzo? Yeah, he's kinda of sitting there kinda of slumped over and how I'm gonna like... run over and out of concern <sighs> give him a medicine check. He's he was right there with you. You guys kind of okay, collected yeah, yeah. as a group at the end to make the final stand and then Cannon in his ever not with the groupness just fucking drilled it in the back of the head. <laughs> What's the uh, difficulty? Um, I I'm not gonna it's succeed. Hard. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard right now. He's over seventy-five percent oh, hard. I'm just like doing this out of <laughs> like. So you see these massive crescent-shaped, like mouth-shaped oh pierce God. wounds, and he's like, ugh. While Belle is doing her medicine <laughs> check, I I want to. Heal Enzo and make it seem like Bell's healing Enzo uh, with magic. Okay. <laughs> do I need to do a stealth check? Because I'm trying to do it like <laughs> under the table. Uh, you guys can also do your cool checks after combat to regain strain. Oh, that's right. Or so discipline, like, right? Cool or discipline, yeah, that's what it is. It's uncontested. That's his train. Okay. So, just take two and or cap one. Nimbus, get that eye out of your mouth. <laughs> and just sitting there like. <laughs> He's still like in his head in combat. Hey, hey, good boy. It's over now. He got through on one, I was really surprised. Oh, just wait till he gets bigger. <laughs> and that's yes factory. That's only success on that cool check, right? Correct. Just success equals strain. Uh, come on, Nimbus, back in the pack. Kind of jumps up and jumps on your shoulder and then hops in. Um, is everyone okay? Oh, I could, I could take I'm a breather. Better. I am not doing so hot. <laughs> Sam, he's like got blood coming. <laughs> he's still dripping down him. Um, is the, is the poison taking effect on anybody? Yeah, you guys who had the poison, uh, you felt like it was kind of a shorter. Feel, you don't feel residual. Load. You don't feel residual continuous effects of it. Uh, right. You guys were able to resist. Um, effectively. <laughs> If there's a despair, it happens again next. But I am uh, I'm not doing so hot. Uh... Can I try to heal his crit? Yes. What what difficulty is it? I think character sheets are weird. Or this is the Enzo one is the. Ah, uh, four. Four. Oh, fuck. Bleeding out's not a good thing to happen to you. <laughs> I As might... By the name, it's bad. He's I... still bleeding out, though. I might have Is to... He? Yeah. He was stabilized. He was brought back by Cap 1. I know, but he didn't heal a crit. You guys are gonna sit there and, like, bandaging him right now. Alright, I'm gonna do we'll it with magic this time. Unless you guys don't want to do it. I'm gonna try it with magic. Whoever's got some bandages, take out the bandage. Okay, he heals his crit. 
Uh, it was four difficulty. I did it with magic instead of medicine. Ah, got it. Because it would be easier. All right, so you're able to heal him up and uh, kind of put your hand on him and focus the magic. You can feel all these like internal injuries and like open veins and stuff like that that are just gushing right now, and you're able to seal those up. So uh, you feel as if he's not losing any more blood. Uh, he's still not good. Yeah, he's. I, I can't heal any wounds with that. That's strictly the crit. But uh, the the severity and the immediacy is taken care of, kind of. Um, I have something in my inventory called like healing components. Oh, med medicine herbs. Plus eight health material is what I have. I don't know if I can use that to make health potions or. If that's just... I think that's what it was. Um, let's look at that item. And I don't have my alchemical equi uh, equipment with me right now, so... How big would you say the fangs are on these snakes? Uh, four to six inches. Whoa! These were big... Guys, like, these were, like, <laughs> laying on the ground, like, up to your chest. I'd like to try to skin one of them. How much time you got? <laughs> <laughs> I don't need the whole skin, just like enough to make some shoes and a belt. <laughs> you want... Okay, 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 okay. Wait, let me ask this. Would I know if the snake skin would be valuable? Um... I'd make an education check. Okay. Put a setback on just this giant snakiness of this. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah, I don't know. You know, um, the snake skin is a thing, but like but, this is a little different. But I'd like to skin it. <laughs> All right. Uh, make a survival check. Alrighty. I think make another giant snaky setback dice. Let me know when you're ready. It's ready. All right. Oh. All right. So as you kind of sit down. And look at the not sit down, it's maths. And you kind of like <laughs> looking around and find a an arrow wound in one, and you pull the arrow out, and that kind of gives you a way to get the knife in. All right. And you just kind of start sawing, and it's probably gonna take you about forty five minutes to an hour to get <laughs> uh, like a, a a sizable piece of scale. Well, I'll spend the time. Make skin. <laughs> well. While Bell is sawing up this thing. <laughs> um, you guys want, uh, you guys want breakfast? <laughs> um, we hear that in the distance. <laughs> what yeah, the hell was that? Eat, Bell. <laughs> Maybe it's not time for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep, f finish up what you're doing. Um, I would like to examine one of the, one of the snakes that I killed. Okay. Uh, Are we specifically looking for anything yeah, like uh, magically, like if it was magically controlled or not. Okay, make a knowledge lore check. Okay. Um, okay. Nice. Um, you don't notice anything like it. It's. From what you can tell, it's like a bigger snake. Um, it wasn't like created with any magic or something like that. You don't like sense anything. Um, you're not. Yeah, you're not getting anything like that. Like you think that this it it, it might just be a massive snake mm. that exists in the world that is here. Whether or not it's native to here, you're not sure. You kind of probably have a feeling it's not. But, uh... Yeah. And nothing nothing particular sticks out about it. Well, guys, these are... I wonder how these big snakes got down here. Well, someone might have put them down here or invited them. True. Oh. With... The creepy cavern. <laughs> With, uh... Bill says that. Well, someone might have put. <laughs> <laughs> Arm 
deep in the snake. How how many healing spells would I be able to get off in the 45 minutes to an hour it's taking Bell? Like, can I get pretty much... A lot. If you... How many can you handle? I don't know, I just want to try to heal everybody individually. Do whatever you want to do, there's plenty of time in this. Okay. So we'll start with Enzo. I guess. Okay. Enzo, are you doing spells? Yeah, yeah whatever spells. Whatever spell difficulty will be. Uh, I almost just rolled deception. <laughs> Does anybody have herbs of, e of healing? Nay. Hey. I don't have the herbs, um, no. Um, I actually might. Let me see my item inventory. Those are like the stim pack of this one. I have my healing rock and... Oh, I forgot we have the healing rock! Yeah, but that takes a long rest to... It yeah. does. It does, but it's still a... It's an option. It is. Well, I mean, we could just long rest here. We sleep here? I don't think that's... Necessarily I don't want to sleep in water. Like, yeah. There's like six inches of water in the <laughs> here, too. Alright, I'm gonna see what I can do with Enzo real quick. In this room, at least. You guys can always backtrack to, like, a the different room. Why is that... I have extra dice in my... Or somebody's got dice in their pool. Is there dice in the GM pool? Yes, sorry. Go again. Four wounds and a strain. For Enzo? Yeah, and then another two wounds for Enzo. How's he looking? He's uh, significantly better after your administrations. Uh, he's still about half hurt. I'm gonna hit him. Less than half. Can I hit him? Fucked. <laughs> Punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay, I can heal that. I'll hit, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll hit him a fourth time and that'll be it. Okay, that's pretty decent, I think. Alright, he's he's full now after that. So take eight strain. Oh yeah, I forgot, I'm a dog now. Fuck. Hold on. How many were those were you able to do? Um... Let's see, so two... Did it one strain for the first one. One. Two. One. Huh. Oh, I'm, I'm good. If I use my triumph and all the advantage to... Heal strain? To all heal right. strain. Nice. <laughs> I'm not You're doing exhausted. Right. I am exhausted. I'm pooped. <laughs> and I, I'd oh. like to sit down and heal myself. Okay. With magic, close my eyes and. Okay. Nope. Strain counts going, team. Yeah, I definitely need to he try to heal some more strain somehow. Is there a way? You rest. Um, how about um? Can I use inspiring rhetoric? Talent. What does it do? I don't mean, yeah. uh, Let's see what it does. Let me read it. Say you can't Your character may use this talent to make an average leadership check. For the for each success, the check generates one ally within short range, heals one strain. All right, what are you gonna each, say? I'm going to need to hear a rousing uh, pep one. talk. She's out of combat. She's still. Uh, you're cutting a snake up right now, too. Just like for the picture. That was great healing, <laughs> Cap One. Couldn't have done it without your. <laughs> Magical abilities. Yes, Cap on Barry again was just coming handy. Well, uh, I'm just glad we didn't lose anybody. It was a close one. Make that roll. Okay. You have a boost. Cast just joined in. Um, do you have the purple dice or do I? I don't know how hard it's supposed to be. I have it. So it's, go for I it. I got it. Two strain! Um, so right? two strain, yeah, and then for each, I think, advantage, it's two more strain. Four strain for cap one. Yep. As your team's talking to you and, like, appreciating how hard you're working, uh, you, you're like, yeah, I'm a part of this team. <laughs> Doing work. Hey, pal, I could use some of this, a pep talk or two. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to use strain or anything? It just for says... Parries. No, for, uh, for, for this? the thing. No, it just says your character may use this talent to make an average leadership check. For each uh, success, it generates one ally, heals one strain for each advantage. I think I, think I have to put a limit on out of combat so you can't just <laughs> yeah, talk everybody back to like, full right, guys, after every combat. It's like, alright, there we go! Totally agree. It's so kind I, of an I, OP skill. It, it's OP out of combat <laughs> if we don't limit it, so... Everybody's full strain. Bill just talked us up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just felt like I slipped.
update ours, guys. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have to have that be a, a targeted. Okay. I'll Within wait a, a reasonable. Um, let me. <clears throat> I think that Cap One, or Ca Castus rather, can heal two strain two because I think it's every ally within short range. But it's only one ally can benefit from the extra two from the advantage. Alright, so take two, Castus. Yes! You did Need feel. It. You did feel like that was about the group and you're in the group. In the group? Yes. Um. Oh, thank you, Cap One. Uh, that was uh, that was a close one there. Yeah, for a oh. moment I uh, I could not uh, see, and uh, things got dark. Yeah, I, I, I uh, saw you go limp there, bud, and I didn't know what else to do, so I figured I'd just uh, stay on defense, <coughs> try to get you back up. I should appreciate it. Hey, Cannon, are, are you all right? I'm fine. Works inside. I... Yeah, I'm sorry, and so... and Khan and I, I should have been able to pull you up back there. Okay. How much are you hurt, Cannon? Uh, only by five. I have ten wounds out of fifteen. Okay. But uh, Enzo reaches into his pouch. Uh. He has something that can, uh... Uh, how does this pass around, um... There's a potion I wanted to... Sorry, uh, Cannon, about missing you with that barrier. I don't know what happened. It's okay. I held my own. We're all good. Um... I want to start deteething these snakes. Yeah, I'm no, well, that new oh, man. Uh, if, if I see th if I see them start doing that, I would like to tell them. Oh, hey, hold on. Let me see if I can get a sample of the venom. Yeah, cannon. Yeah. You're, uh, uh, drink this. Yeah. What is this? Uh, comes over to you and hands you a small vial, uh, maybe about that big. That's got a plug in it, and it's kind of like a a milky, light bluish liquid, almost sparkling inside. Is it Vanique? Yeah, it's the neek. Is <laughs> 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 <Vinique. laughs> Oh, what's that, Enzo? That looks uh, interesting. I just wanted you to have some. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> I'm a I, drinker. I pop it and I take a whiff. All right, so make a resilience check with no purple dice. Uh, resilience check with no purple dice. Coming right up. Alright, so heal two wounds. <laughs> There's a purple dice. Heal three wounds. <laughs> uh, As everyone's chopping up, up the snakes, I would like to examine the pillar. Alright. Um, so you kind of... Make a uh, edic knowledge lore education. You're kind of like doing an investigation. Something intelligence based. I don't know if there's a better one. Nice. So as you kind of move nice. around, you see um some different scrawlings on it of arcane symbols. Uh, you don't recognize most of it. Um a few drawings of the Imperial City and different towers and scenery from the area. Um, different people standing around, which you can tell, like, wizards and, like, traditional long robes and using staves and different magic implements. Uh, uh, kind of casting up, uh, like, lines that indicate spells coming out of the staves and wands and implements uh, to the uh, shield around it, and then some to uh, different areas of the Imperium itself. Uh, you think this might be like an image of the construction of the school and the construction of Imperial City, which you would know uh, to be 
multiple thousands of years old. Uh, you're not familiar of a time before which uh, the Imperial City existed. And, it's and as you kind of, yeah, as you kind of go around uh, the scrawlings, uh, go and you see this, um, it's like a handle on one side, but it's like a, a protruding stone cylinder with like a handle on it. Um, I just casually walk over running my hands over the the inscription admiring the how ancient this is and then I just put my hand around the handle and tug not like force bit like yeah like just to see if it comes out it does um kind of pull out maybe four or five inches and it has this like and you feel that there's a little twist to it as well you're gonna twist. Yeah, I twist. Turn it. It turns ninety degree up, and uh, you push back in on it, and it slots in. And um, there's like these multiple layers from the outside of the rocks that you thought were all part of it. Like there's little indents, and then like the uh, different areas around it um, are kind of protruded out, and the inside rock starts spinning. And after it spins, uh, uh kind of a threshold begins to open and you see it and there's a staircase down. Oh. Uh, the water from the room starts to drain as it starts flowing down the stairs. Okay. Right. Um, Guys, what are you playing with? Eagles would have heard the rumble and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I found a way down further. Oh, like... great. <laughs> I didn't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much uh, more skinning do we have to do? You're probably wrapping it up here after all that. Okay. okay. You've got... Um... We'll call it, like... I Large snakeskin. Large snakeskin, yeah. I don't know what else to call it. I'm okay. gonna try and use a size, but every time I try to put a number to things, I hate it. Yeah. So it's large. <laughs> Were we giant able? Sna large patch of giant snake. I just want to collect its teeth, not necessarily its fangs, but like its small teeth. Yeah. So it didn't have like um, it was a snake with a lot of teeth, not like the two big protruding fangs teeth. So like okay. a python, it was a constrictor, right? Okay. So, so I'll take it's a like bunch lots of, those. of little teeth. Perfect. So no. Can I try to collect the venom or the poison? Um, you can make a check. Okay. I would like to augment myself first. After what are you talking about? Heal your strain, you're just spending it. That is a good point. I'm gonna pass on that. I'll just try to collect it, and if I fuck it up, I fuck it up. There's more rooms, hint. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. That's exactly. Oh, <laughs> oh no. So what kind of check am I checking? Um make a survival check for me. And I'll let you roll here in a second, Canon. If you want to roll now actually as well. Sure. What do I need to roll? A survival as well. Everything about assessing and taking dead animals is survival. Survival, okay. I can't find I the see. teeth. I can't find the mouth. Uh, you still have the upgrade in your side cannon, but Oops. we'll just keep going. Um, so you're able to get, um, call it five uh, snake teeth, giant snake teeth. Um, and from your roll cap one, you're not really sure where that, you heard the team talk about venom and poison. I don't think you got poison, <laughs> did you? I never got bit, no. You're not sure if it was injected or how that happened, what the mechanism is or anything like that. Okay. Sorry, what was the number or the amount? Five, five, five. giant snake teeth. Okay. Our five more custom daggers teeth. coming, I guess. Like snake <laughs> mouth. I want to make arrows. Yeah. Ooh. Dude, that'd be cool. Uh, I don't know what you did, Castus, but 
are we going down there? Down in an earlier round. Um, I don't, I don't see another way out, Cap One, and we're. I have a feeling we're onto something very big. Is that a good thing? I mean, it hasn't been so far. It is. Uh, it just seems as if we are in a dangerous place. Yeah. Is there even an out? Well, I don't see those... one right around, so... Where did yeah. those snakes come from? Maybe we could just crawl through the little holes that they popped out of. That's a... Not just chilling there for whoever... Coming down here, I don't know. I mean, these markings are ancient Imperials, so... They would have made a way out. Well, perhaps if we did a... Uh... Or maybe they're keeping something in, Castus. Maybe the way out is where we came from. Maybe, but... I don't see a way out. You? I look around for a way out. Here's four giant stone heads the way you came in a staircase down the middle. I start going down the middle staircase. <laughs> <laughs> After you. I follow but, immediately. Yeah, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and scout ahead first. I'll I'll sneak, um, be very vigilant on what's around me and stuff. Just okay. being yeah. super super. If careful. I see him sneaking out, I'd let him go ahead and keep my distance. <clears throat> uh, Enzo sees Cannon leaving. Uh, Cannon, do you need uh, someone to come with you? Uh, five seconds behind. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Make a stealth roll for me. Yes, sir. Stealthy, stealthy stealth. Is it like a spiral staircase? Or... I think I saw that yeah. upgrade. Oh no, it's, it's gone. Spiral okay. going down. What's... What is the lighting situation in here? Dark. Okay. You guys, like, past your, your lights, it's pretty dark. Forgot to mention that, thank you. Alright, so as you kind of make your way down the stairs, there's uh, the sound of moving water as the, the room above drains and you're walking through the staircase, which has turned into this kind of cascading waterfall, uh, spiraling downward as you... Moving forward as the, the sound of moving water echoes off the wall. It's quiet. Uh, down maybe 60 feet down the stairs. They seem to keep going and going. But as you uh, think just when it what might end, you get to the bottom and the sound of the water cascading into the, the standing water on the floor. And uh, you see a chamber in front of you that's kind of um, like 15 feet wide, and it's kind of like a, a, a arched tube, an arched tube, so flat floor, arched ceiling kind of thing. Okay. And uh, it goes down past uh, short range, which I think. Oh, you have the hood on. Yeah. Um. You see it go down maybe another 40, 50 feet, and uh, then you see these big. Um, Iron, uh, barred wood, reinforced iron or wood with uh, iron bars across it. Uh, double door, in an arch shape. Okay. Um, can I run an investigation up, around the door or see if it's like scary in any way? Yeah, absolutely. And. Uh, as you as you push into the cave and you maybe get 15 20 feet in you look back and you see Enzo sitting at the uh, the bottom of the spiral uh, staircase and he sees you walking forward uh, as you keep making your way he starts to come out after you and you get to the end of the hallway uh, the door it, it's old wood but it seems to still be sturdy a uh, metal band going across it and large um, uh, iron rings 
Uh, yes. Okay. Um, and so, um, it's a door. Um, do a Oh, no. Uh, school degree check. Degree. Okay. Um, you don't see any like um mechanical traps. Okay. And um, doesn't seem to be any uh locks, anything like that. It's just a, a large set of doors. Um, make a perception check. Perception. Um, right. as you're kind of doing your like uh, inspection of the door uh, I think you hear this faint sound and you put your ear up to the door and on the other side it, there's this rumble of crashing water coming from the door through the door okay it's not like hitting the door, like against no. the door. Okay. No, just like in the in the room. In the room beyond. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. We uh, could take Enzo, a break. Enzo. Yeah. Or Enzo, yeah, go ahead. Enzo comes up and uh, what do you think? Uh... Well, the only way I can see going, getting out of here. But uh, beyond there, it just sounds like rushing water. So honestly, I couldn't even say what's beyond there. That could be something, though. The water has to go somewhere. Yeah, definitely, but it's also covering the sounds of anything else that might be in there. So do we tell the group to go? Yeah, I mean, go ahead and tell them to come down. I'll okay. keep an ear out. Take a break here, then. Cool. Did you guys... We're back. Did you guys get the description of the, t the tunnel? Um, I, I really didn't we didn't go down it. Well, Cannon did. Right. I would be like, did you hear me explain it to him? I guess that's what I meant. Yes. Uh, no. So there's a... Enzo comes back up the stairs to let you guys know. It's like, there's a tunnel, uh, and then has found a door, and we hear running water on the other side, but we are, we're not sure what is through. Okay. Uh, they, he told me to, we, we should go down. We can... We can or as a team. All right, let's let's go. You guys, descend <laughs> the stairs and find Cannon at the end of the hallway. A dark tube. Uh, it's very dark in here. Um, but you see the. I'm sorry. Light. Can I? I wanted to make a check to see if I can get some energy left from the yep. snakes. Sorry, yep. I totally fucked that up. Um. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to get? I just wanted to get some teeth. But during this time, you're probably busy getting the skin while Cannon was doing it. Because you guys want to delay longer. Um, I mean, I'm confused. Yeah, just just roll survival. Wow. You get two teeth. All right. Uh, right. All right, let's let's go down. Okay, let's, uh, get down. Uh, the and the spiral staircase quite a significant way. Uh, in the tube, you see the far side of it, the light from Cannon's crystal. And uh, actually, I don't have my crystal out. I have my hood on. Okay, so. Um, you just see the dark tube, and as you guys push forward, uh, the light illuminates forward until you get to the end of the door, and you see the outline of Cannon standing by this massive, um, iron bar double door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! Don't, don't do that down here. Jesus Christ, bud! What do you guys think of something on the other side? There's for sure water back there. I had an idea why you guys were 
cutting up snakes. If we're in the sewer system of somewhere underneath the Imperium or the Imperial City somewhere, maybe if worse comes to worse, we can go in a water tunnel and get shot out somewhere. Like, maybe through the sewers and maybe all the water has to go to the ocean, right? Yeah, but what about Piston and Atabody? I mean, they're still on the bridge. We can, we can go back and get them. We didn't take them in here. At night, now they're at the stable. Yeah, they're at the, stable. At the, the drift stone. <laughs> we probably owe more money on our rooms. Just F by the way, I think we've been keeping track. I mean, this is basically one long night. Yeah. But if. I shouldn't. If we maybe we see some running water, and we can, like we did, take it. Maybe we could, it will spit us out somewhere. You mean like in like a contingency plan in case uh, things kind of go sideways? Correct. Okay. Good call. I like it. Always good to have a backup plan. But if it's sewers, it might have a stench. Uh, what's plan A again? Find um, another way out that doesn't find a way the sewers. out. Sewers. <laughs> gotcha. That that would be ideal. Yes. Okay. Just ju sewer. just checking. You want to help me open this door? Yeah. Should should we be quiet about it? Or how how heavy is this door? They're large band yeah. iron doors. So it's like arched doorway that's like 15 feet tall. Okay. Um, that's pretty big. It's gonna make noise either way. We'll just try our yep. best. Okay. <clears throat> Is get on the doors and they're kind of stuck for a second, but uh, holding on them, hear the like of the hinges that haven't been moved, and you don't know how long moving to life. And as the door gets opened, this thunderous roar comes through of this crashing water, like a waterfall. And um, so you're not too worried about the sound of it, really, because the other side of this chamber is just this thundering water sound. And there's almost this, like, a, a foggy mist kind of rolling out. Um, so as you guys get the door open, you look inside, and... The, the sound of rushing water echoing in your ears. And in front of you, a small stone way and this thick, dense fog of mist uh, envelops the end of the, the the stone stairway down, and you hear thundering water echoing in a chamber, and uh, you can't see any further than the edge of the mist. And at the end of the bridge, you see it uh, the stairway kind of descend. Uh, it's only like 15 feet in front of you down into water. Sound of just rumbling water around you and as you kind of look to the left and right side of this um like descending stone staircase into the the standing water on the ground um just almost the entire walls is just continuous waterfalls into this water and it's just making this thick mist uh, that you can't see very far through and uh it's it's very dark in here as well so you guys have lights out or things like that um help some but um i don't think lights will help you with the mist but yeah so this this room with thundering and this this wet and there's just this thick fog i can i try it's to like push so thick, we can't see through it right yeah like you can only see the edge of your vision okay um bell you still have that rope right yes i i think i lost mine in the oh wait no we use it um, you just tied them together, okay? Good time together. Yeah. You just have both of them? Um, who, who wants to go first? I can. I can go first. Okay, take, and I hand you, Cannon, uh, one end of the rope, and then I'll go, I'll take the other. And everyone else grab on if it, if we can't see through things. Just hold on to the rope as a lifeline. Okay. So, it's medium range, so I can be 
I'll be medium range, basically behind you. Um, do you guys see the lines, the white lines? Yes. Yeah. Those are rough range bands. Okay. They're what range bands? Just like rough. Oh, right. okay. Then I will start moving. Um, yeah, feel free to move your guys in. We'll start moving to about here. Can't really tell what's on, like shown for you, but I think you can see a wall. Yeah. yeah. Just um, I don't know if you can see the ends of it or anything. Um, you guys aren't supposed to be able to see everybody's stuff as well. You're only supposed to be able to see yours. So I can try to do that again. Did that go away for everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. Cannon, can you still see your stuff? Yeah, I can still see the wall, the brown wall. Setting. Try not to move over your guys around and cheat. And refrain from stuck. Ready, friends? Cuckery going on over here. I was. I can still see somebody's bubble. Is all I'm looking at. Yeah, I'm trying to update. I think it's Enzo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that did but... it. That... I can't. I can't edit his again. You can change everybody else's. All right, we're gonna delete him. Those dead. Back. Ready, friends? Yes. Oh no! I'm as ready as I'm gonna rope. be, though. Ready. All right, hold on tight to that rope, cannon. Just as he starts going out, you guys start to see him get harder and harder to see into the into the mist. I can barely see him. Does the rope tug at this, or...? Um, so he's only one range band out. Okay. But we still got some slack. I'm like, I'm like feeding it out. I'm gonna load my pistol as he, uh... Just starts to slowly disappear. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll actually, I'm gonna tie spot. the one end, the, the back end around my waist. Okay. Go to this rough spot, and that's where I'll stop. Alright, um... Rough up ahead so watch your step and like it's going to be hard to hear each other like picture like standing at the bottom of a waterfall like chamber okay. with just water like you're gonna have to scream i will yell so loud <laughs> <laughs> all right so you hear like it's a little rough and just like <sighs> oh you know what i'll do after i scream yes i'll come back and i will say Two tugs, um, keep going, one tug, stay still. Okay. Is that, is that okay? Yes. yes. Everyone grab on. Are we all just, uh, are we waiting right. here? Or are we, Got my gun. Are we just at the end? No. What is marching? Yeah, what's marching order? I see that Cass has tied his to his waist, so I'm going to tie my end to my waist. Or at least, like, around my belt. Yep. Okay, so Cassis is in back, and then Kanan's in front. And we have a lifeline. Are we all just on the back with it, or are we spaced out along it? I'm gonna stay by Enzo. Um, just make sure you have one hand on it. Okay, and I'll move to that rough patch. Mm hmm So, um, all around you now, you can kind of see back a little bit, but you see this uh, stone wall in front of you that you can see both ends of it okay um uh, make um, a make a and also this water guys is waist deep Ooh. oh no okay question. i have a question yes um, please i have the talent swift it says my character does not suffer penalties moving through difficult terrain this, does this count it is difficult terrain yeah so i'm just Good like talent. fucking yeah so anybody yeah. who has the aquatic feature or that, yeah. Oh, not... aquatic! I need to look at that shit. I don't think you can just buy it as a thing, but I know it is oh, a, damn. a thing. Oh, damn. You could probably get armor or something that's makes your movement uh, not affected by water. But yeah. yes, this is difficult terrain. Uh, it's considered very difficult terrain as well. You're wading through water. All right, uh, make a perception check. 
cannon. This is tight, I can't see what he sees. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So... See this wall in front of you and, um... At the very edge of your vision, you see the, um... Uh, you notice that the water seems to have a current heading towards the center of this area. Or towards the left side of the wall, you don't know what the center is. All the other walls. But you do notice a current. Okay. Does it look strong? Um... Not incredibly, but it's moving. And you're in waist deep water too, so... Yeah. Um... Okay. And then... I will face... Perpendicular to the current. Just so I have like a yep. sturdiness, and I'll w start walking sideways. Is the current going like down this way? Oh, it's going that way. Oh, okay. Maybe even like thatish way. Oh, then I'll lean back. Then I'll keep moving that way. Yeah, you can probably only get about here as well before the ropes out of room. Okay. So if you want to adjust. Yeah. I'm gonna start. And then out, I'll, right? yeah, I'll tug twice to have them come to me. And so it's gonna stay in the middle-ish. I'm gonna stay back, closer to. And right, right when the rope gets taut, I will move up. <laughs> Clay, tell me which, which way I'm being pulled to. I will do that. Uh, you're going the right way. You're you're along that bearing right now. All right. <laughs> All right, Cannon. You're you're in charge. It seems. Yep. I'm uh, going to just peek around this corner of the wall. All right. So you can see as far in as you can. I don't know where it goes to. Okay. I I see, see other the... distinct features. Yeah. I see. Do you want me to say it or? Yeah, you can. Okay. I see. Th Something faint in the middle, like a circle, and then another wall north. Over here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, this seems to be a current, and then this is almost like a whirl in the middle. Whirling water. Ooh, not good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that reaction. Ooh, not good. <laughs> Don't uh, take us down the whirlpool. <laughs> I'll just be back there. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll keep tugging twice on, until they're caught up with me so I can talk to them without yelling. They're going to be engaged with you to not have to yell. That's fine. He, tug he just keeps tugging on the rope. <laughs> yeah, so just reeling us in one by one. This, this cobbled wall in the middle. And <clears throat> all around you, this mist is enveloping. You can no longer see any walls of the room. You guys see that? Um, um, most of you what? probably can't. Oh, okay. Oh, what, uh, the, the wall? People dark, the, the people with dark vision, I've made their light radiuses a little bigger. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. I can't see shit. I can't see much. <laughs> okay, let me fill you guys in. Oh. <laughs> like, it'd, be, it'd be in this area if you could see. Oh, it. yeah. Oh, heck and jeez, boys. That ain't good. <laughs> what? I can't see shit. I say we go back the other way right now. We just turn around and go back. I'll fucking deal with the water. Um, uh, let's try and go towards the other end of this wall. Let's go with Cannon's plan. <laughs> Just so we're protected by the wall from the current. And I'll move to this edge here. Okay. See what you see. Oh, boy! <laughs> That's a butthole of a whirlpool. <laughs> um, what was that? Nothing. <laughs> Don't Cannon. be so what do you see? I lean over to Belt. Did he say butthole? I'm you couldn't sure. whisper in here. You'd be like, did he? It's like in a <laughs> you were like yelling. Like, it's just like, picture this thunderous sound. Okay. Like standing in the bottom of Niagara Falls kind of thing. I'm going to try my best. This might be rolls, but I'm going to start crossing here this way. All right. I feel um, like I'm being tugged. Yeah, you're, you probably get there. Um, you feel the slight current, but um, it, it's not necessarily a roll. You're, it's not 
immediately, but you, uh, it's definitely tougher toward in the middle section here. Okay. Uh, you've got, a, you maybe get to there with the slack you've got in this area. Sure, I'll, I'll go there. <laughs> so it would put me about All right. here, I think. Are you guys continuously keeping up? I would be. Uh, yeah, I'll I would be keeping. Longer. Yeah, right. my my place in line on the rope. So I would imagine, I'd be about like here, just running the corner of the wall. So as um, you uh, you're pushing forward and leading the way. Um, very. Where's the edge of your vision? Me. Yeah. Like um, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll point it out. Um, I see up to here. Okay. Um, probably about right here, right as you turn the corner and around the side. Um, the, uh, the Enzo looking at you. Okay. Uh, from up here. Uh, he's just, he's standing on the other side. I see Enzo over here. Yeah, over here. Right here. Yeah, the edge of your vision. No, I Nist. don't. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you see Enzo standing on the other side. Oh, um, I don't. I will... <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to get to the other wall, at least for now. All right, you're probably tugging now. Yeah, I'll tug twice. I'll pull hard twice. And uh, as, as you're walking towards, he kind of just walks into the mist. And Zo vanishes at the edge of your vision, walking away. The, the sound and... Right here. <sighs> yeah. So he's not there anymore. No, he just, he walked into the mist, out of your range. Oh boy. I I tug twice for them to catch up to me. <laughs> all right. Oh, to like all the way catch up. You want to you want to team? Yeah. Meeting? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Okay. Okay. Hey. Oh, good job, Cannon. You've you've been guiding us really. Really nice. Do, I, do I look okay? Um, you look great. Yeah. <laughs> Bell's trying to inspire again. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Enzo, uh, you, Enzo says, uh, you look a bit uh, shaken up. Yeah, Enzo, I just saw you ahead of us. What? 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 Enzo, grab onto the rope. <laughs> no, <laughs> he was, I was he holding was on onto the... the rope the entire time. He was what? right in front of me, Cannon. Look, I saw him. I know what I saw. There's... Other things in here that are replicating our You're actually visuals. playing tricks on you. Okay, yeah, don't it believe was, me. It was, That's really fine. Far, it was at the edge, but you're pretty sure it was Enzo. It was I'm like confident. right at the edge of the fog. Yeah, I'm okay. still is super skeptical. <laughs> Keep like it's been a long night. Keep your eyes peeled. Alright. Stay here. I'm gonna go check again. Just to be sure. I'll move here. Is everybody staying? I am. I'm, right, I'm just, you, yeah. I'm, I'm you done. don't, uh, you don't see anything. What the fudge? You got a little more slack. Okay, since I'm gonna hook the rope around the wall, and I'm gonna move on the other side of the wall. You're gonna go on the far side? Yeah. Oh. Um, and this is the ropes around your waist, right? Yeah. So it's like a little bit underwater? Yeah, a little bit. It's like it's waist height. Alright. Um, make a perception check up there. Okay. Uh, pass this as well. Uh, actually, who's not moving at the back and who's moving where? I'm not moving. I don't know. I am wherever Enzo is. He, he moved to the other side of the wall. You don't see the other side. Um, Castus, 
uh, behind you here, uh, like on, on like this side, wherever the mm -hmm. edge of Danny's vision, and I can't tell. But um, oh no, I could... actually, probably about here. Um, so the walls blocked by everybody else, but uh, you don't see Enzo Cannon, but you see yourself. Okay. And in ca cast is in this area, you see uh, cannon standing in the water. Do I see the rope around his waist? Um, you can't really like the the water is always kind of making it hard. You can make it. I just check, like. Though. I'm like okay. I'm gonna give uh, two or uh, two setbacks from the fog. You can't tell if there's a rope or not, but you're not. I'm looking, looking down at my rope, and I'm like, hey, "What are you? What are you doing?" <laughs> I'm like trying to piece. Like the rope's going that way. Um, and then does, he did um, you did you just go around? And like you see his mouth move, but you don't uh, see any uh, hear anything. Uh, but he doesn't look like he's yelling, and he kind of um. Uh, points back that way like points over that way i look that way yeah and so as you're looking um uh i assume canon you're just staring at this yeah like i see myself you see him like kind that. of gesticulating around the wall you can't see canon or cassis um but then after like he points over um you see him kind of like just bend down into the water, and uh, he's gone. And cast this. Once you look back over and then look back towards where he was, uh, you don't see anything. Oh, for fuck's sake, Cannon! Just what? Are... What are you doing? I want to look underwater. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With my little light out. Oh, All right. Fuck. Does anyone else have their lights out, by the way? Uh, no. no. I, this light radius was assumed with the lights. If not, you can't see anything. Oh. It's like pitch black in here. And foggy. And fog. Like it's. Like extra dark. What about the ones that had dark vision? Would they have been able to see you anything? Can see to your radius. Okay, so we don't need our lights. Just okay. Yeah. I'd have my light out then. Yeah. So your light radius is assumed lights. Cast just take out his light, and I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. And like, you guys get this ominous light blue light through the fog. Um, go ahead and try to look underwater. Okay. Um, that. I wasn't ready. Sorry, roll again. Uh oh. Dang it. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you look under water and um, you open your eyes and you you can't really see anything at all and it kind of burns a little bit or something like the dirty water. It's like you're in like a sewer and you just open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like it's not. It's not, it's not like poop, it's, not, it's not poop water, but it's not like clean, you know. It's, yeah, it's, it's waste like water. Yeah, or random, off or yeah it's just like and you kind of like ah, it burns. <laughs> And your eyes are now considered like you've been swimming in a pool with too much chlorine. Ow. They're all red. Yeah, they're all like red and bloodshot now. <laughs> can Itchy I- Itchy water eyes. Can I try to detect magic? Yes. Well, like- uh, Yeah. Yep. In the water um, specifically or the fog since they're both the same thing? Uh, you can detect magic to a radius. Okay. You can increase the difficulty of how far you want the radius to go. Erky derky. Um, there will be a, a standard two, and then plus one for each distance. So, my my sight bubble <laughs> would be what, like a four? So it starts at short. For the detect magic base spell. What I'm saying now. Um, so it'll be two purple for short range, and each range band past that you have to add a purple dice to increase the range. But you do a staff, so you get one of them. But if you want to go par farther than medium range, for two purple what dice. What is my vision increase. bubble? I just, I'm... 
you, so you're not seeing with your eyes. You're detecting something. You're using a spell. It's a spell. I'm, I'm, I, right. I'm asking how many range bands is my vision bubble? It's not a direct translation. Use the lines on the ground to roughly okay. estimate. Okay. Okay. I got you. So, uh, and like the radial lines, I tried to make it to just rough approximations of range bands. Um. To the whirlpool. Like that would be my radius. Them. Um, do, how many ranges are you going? I set it short. With two purple. I guess it would be medium? Yeah, so medium will get you, uh, like, out here. Not all the way to the whirlpool, but in that area. Okay, so then I'll go long. There's so three purple. I'll get you, like, over here. Three purple, detect. There. Um, definitely sense, uh, a presence in, like, this area. Uh, it's an entity. It's a magical entity. Yes. We also sense Castus, uh, Enzo, and Cannon. As other magical creatures. Okay. The Triumph, um... There's more magic coming from them. It might be like bigger. It seems bigger. A bigger blip. Uh, oh. I, uh, Are you telling everybody? What's yeah, going? I'm. I'm gonna say. Um, let, just give me a second to process this and how. Cap on. I'm just trying to keep it going. Yeah. We only got thirty minutes. Uh, guys, I, uh, I don't think we're alone. What, what, what? There, there there's, a uh, scream. <laughs> what are you saying? I think there's been a, a spell cast in here. I, I, <laughs> I can't yell with Cap on. I don't know how to do it. Uh, I love where it went, though. <laughs> um, what the guy? <laughs> Some some sort of Oh maybe it's an illusion, I don't know. Do you see cat? I don't see anything. Fuck. Fuck. All I'm saying is uh we gotta be careful. Fuck this, I'm moving. I'm moving up here. You're just gonna tug on us? Yeah, and from um, around this side, uh, Castus walks out towards you, and he's kind of walking towards you. I know for sure it's not him. Do I get tugged? He's at the other side of the room. You're, you're at the end of the rope. Yeah, it's Todd okay. right now, but you're not oh. getting... Do you see him walking towards you? I just point you? to the... I'm like... Yeah, I tug twice. Rope. Yeah. He's, he's, he's walking up towards you. I, I look at him... confused... and concerned... And a little scared, and I ask, "Do you speak?" Um. And he he kind of walks up to you to where he's probably about four or five feet away. You hear this uh, voice inside your head, and kind of penetrate through the thundering noise. As you see, Castus's eyes kind of locked with yours. Yes, I can speak. Now just stay here for a moment. And what is your uh, discipline? Uh, too green. Not very disciplined. Ugh. So, as you, oh boy, <laughs> as you, um, as you, wow, you speak, wow, you we see, wow. um, uh, Castus's form start to change, and the eyes turn from the standard eyes of Castus to these yellow globes and start to grow in these vertical slits, and you just hear, yes, stay here for a moment, and you feel this chill enter your body. 
and you can't move or speak. And you basically kind of just like you're stuck in place. Okay. And you can't you can't do anything. Okay. You, you're just Yeah, I'm And she then asked me you to do see that. you see the serpent grow bigger until it's maybe the front half um uh, kind of like the body of a naga. So the t bottom half of her body is a snake and then a female form with little snakes on her head and then she just disappears into the water. Okay. And you're just still looking in the same direction. And he was tugging, so you guys keep moving forward, I imagine. Alright, listen to the tugs. So as you guys get closer, you see Cannon just not... any response. A total statue. Completely catatonic. I'm so happy I tugged. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, you guys. Do. I need my friends. My initial thought was you guys would spread out, but you guys did a rope, so you did not. You did something good. Oh, where the fuck is it? Uh, what, what's you guys what's going on? Can I tell if is there something I can do to tell if he's been if there's oh, been did a? You take your two strain as well for your spell. Oh no, I didn't. I want to detect if he's been magicified. <laughs> All right, cast another spell. Same uh, difficulty, or would it be one less since we're closer? Um, if you don't need to go, yeah, you don't need to go as far. Yes. He's currently affected by a spell. I would like to... Oh, I can't do that. Fuck! Yes, you... Yes, you can't. <laughs> Tan is the only one who can dispel magic, I think, and he is currently catatonicized. There's a triumph on it, too. It's this... <laughs> oh, man. That was a GM cackle. <laughs> it was. Yeah, it was. Alright. <laughs> 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 uh, <clears throat> he's, uh... He ain't coming back. What? Everybody. What, is, what are you saying? He's, uh... What? Why do we stop moving? He's stunned. He's he's had a, you, some kind of spell cast on him. Yeah. Enzo's up inspecting him. Um. Wait. We what gotta get the hell out of here. Um, I move up and I start like slapping his face a little bit. And, like, kind of. He's like a, he's like a statue, and like it's still fleshy, but like he's completely unresponsive. And like his his muscles are all flexed and in, in place. And everybody make um, whoever is still maintaining vigilance while this is happening make a a vigilance check for me. What do you mean maintaining uh, vigilance? Whoever uh, thinks that their character would still be on high alert instead of being distracted by this, like if you genuinely think your guy would be trying to figure it out, like you're just cast a spell on him. I don't think you're probably vigilant. Okay. Um, I have, I, mean, now. I have the talent constantly Castus vigilant. Castus is always con constantly vigilant. <laughs> Enzo is also inspecting uh, Cannon. Worried about him. Alright. Um, Damn. My, my stealth roll is shit, though. Oh, wrong. My bad. Disregard. It's, yep. it's the same, but yeah. So it's as... The same roll. Um, as... Uh, you're looking around, Cassus, you see out of the water this snake figure emerge. Uh, oh, kind of come up halfway above. How far and, away? Uh, uh, at the edge of your vision. So I don't know where that is. Oh shit, I just... Do that. Um, um but the edge my of your vision, vision goes to... I don't have a picture for her. Here. Do you um, see this, so Clay? She's... Yeah, I can see that. Oh, I said hide to others, so I don't think the rest of them can see it. <laughs> You guys see McDonatoria? <laughs> I, I, see Dude, I love that the fucking picture. picture. I didn't get a picture for my bad guy, so I had to use okay. McDonatoria. <laughs> what is that? Shadows! <laughs> is that a McDonatoria? <laughs> 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 okay, so it's a big snake thing. Since you guys caught her, she doesn't get a, a sneaky attacky off. Uh, please roll, uh, initiative for me, team. Vigilance for those who are vigilant. Cool for those who are not. It's the... 
I'm confused. Oops. That should be four I success. I have so should I do cool or... Yeah, no, it's basically if you think your guy would have been distracted by cannon. Okay. That was like a distraction-y thing. That was the goal. Um... Why did you Damn, cannon, that was way better than last time. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm fucking made us stone <laughs> <It's> now. Throat. <laughs> <laughs> um, you it's, it's not a permanent effect. All right. I have whiskey. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> um. All right. So let's see. Is there any fives? Four. Cannon. I had four as well. How many? How many? Um. Advantage? Zero. At one. And three. I have three with seven advantage. And two and then one. What's Enzo oh, got? Need roll. I have one. I'm last. Is two. Oh. Oh, alright. Cast is use or cannon. It's first. You're frozen. Cap one's next. <laughs> um, but you start to feel the effects wear. Okay. Yeah. But you did you lose the turn of combat. That's all okay. right. Go cap one. Oh cap one died. Go go catch a cap one. <laughs> ran away. It's frozen in fear. I I was hoping we'd get here sooner, because we're going to stop in combat. Stop now, I guess. Should we just stop now? We can go through a round of it. For however long it takes. Yep. You're yep, up, Cap, Cap one. 1. Oh, shit. Uh, barrier, barrier, barrier. All over the place. <laughs> On everybody this time, if I can do it. There's still two people are tied at this rope, <laughs> and one of them is currently an anchor. <laughs> <laughs> I still think we should hold on to it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Castus has the right idea. So that's myself, that's everybody for two, yeah, two. Everybody. For two. Is it wow. one or two to add everybody? One advantage or two advantage? One advantage. Two success gives extra soap. So, and the default one? The default is one plus one more advantage per person. That seems so broken, but it is your whole thing, so it makes sense. Um, all right. It takes you strain. Yep. Cast your spell. Um, next up is Castus. See it too. Basically, as it's rising, um, yeah. As everyone's oh. huddled around, except for that one who's. What? Um. Does it look? So it's like 15 feet tall. Oh. Um, it's silhouette too. Um, it's a big snake lady. Like picture. Uh, she does not. She like not like holding she's anything. It. Does it look like a threatening thing? It, yeah, you're definitely getting the uh, threatening feeling. From <laughs> <it>. <laughs> um, picture like um Ashara. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I. I'm going to use a maneuver to challenge. Pull out my sword, and take a. Step. Like, yeah, you're like two range bands ish. I take a step and then just go point my sword at her and go You will not defeat me Or any of us move you there. Just try to move one range band worth of movement. I'm not moving. Oh, I'm just okay. using my it's a maneuver to use challenge Right, okay, then don't move your guy Just trying to keep the range bands to make sense. Okay, what does that mean for me? Um. Fuck! I just had it. 
they had, they had a boost to me and then two set back to everyone else for the rest of the encounter. When attacking okay. me, they for get the a boost. Rest. But when attacking anyone else, she gets two set back. Damn, that's baller. That is sick. For you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> and then, as my action, I want to use the thing Comrade in Arms. It's a hard discipline check. Okay. I don't think I have any dice in the pool. Let me make sure I clear it. Now it's empty. I'll, I'll use mine. And... Ah, I failed. They can't Dang. get me over the. Yeah, ah. it's still rumbling. <laughs> like, hang tight, everyone, stay together. But it, my voice is being lost in the. Um. All right, I... and it's the Mistress of Snakes' turn. Um, you see this blue glow coming from her eyes and a lot of the snake eyes as she looks at you, and these two arms come together and. Pulls out this, um, um, I will figure it out. Just one second. I don't use magic much. Um, pulls out her hands and this blue chilling energy uh, goes between them and is going to what? oh my <laughs> Jesus he, uh, launches this bolt of ice um, get a boost die too and of arrangements See what they do, they kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> Worsh. Um, how does damage work? Spells? Base damage equal to... Characteristic. Willpower. Characteris characteristic plus... Yes, your characteristic like the... Alright, so the... And then there's the, the proficiency add damage? Uh, it's whatever no, tool. That's... That's like a wand yeah. or a staff or yeah, uh, something like that. Or like an icon, holy icon maybe, if it's divine. I don't know. Um, let me just give her a plus three. It's a magical creature, so. Um, so that's uh, seven damage. Oh, it hits the barrier. This ice bolt basically flies towards you and Get off the magical ba barrier. Oh, and fuck. Then she, uh, gonna pull back into the mist. She's gonna move a range band. Oh, fuck. And I am moving her range bands, so... Every try and move an exact range band when you move. Got it! We can all we can put each other on the this crossing to make it easier to get us set, not offset. Okay, so we're gonna use the pluses and minuses. Well, not pluses, but the intersections. That was the intent. Okay. That was the intent. I gotcha. <clears throat> but like, Good. if you're moving radially inwards, yeah, like you can move it. But then there's like the circles are for like weird diagonal cases. I thought it might help to have a circle. That's good. So, um, next up is Enzo. I do not know uh, what we should be... Should I go? Don't go! <laughs> Dared. Oh, uh, um, why don't Enzo we try to find a way to, out of here? Enzo's going to um, take a moment and focus on himself. And... Um, Any you guys feel this tries to reach in, but uh, he doesn't, he's not able to do it. So, Enzo's turns over, bells up. Um, is there anybody? No, I'm just gonna use, um, I guess 
steady aim as my maneuver, and then uh, I'm going to do field commander, make an average leadership check to try to get that free maneuver. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so everybody can take one train and take a free maneuver if they like. And that's the end of my turn. You guys want to approach? Um, I can't, I can't do anything. Can yeah, you've got another. I'll wait in the water a little closer. Alright, uh, Enzo will follow. I'll kind of follow, but I'm going to bridge the gap. You see her? Barely. Barely. Okay, good. One range band is the edge, then. Cool. For me, my blind ass. Yeah, for me, too. Alright, it's back to the top, Cannon. Um, you feel the effects wear off. <gasps> uh, but your, your, whole, your whole turn is that. That's Basically, fine. you start... Wah! Wah! There's something Dude. here! <laughs> God! <laughs> we know! <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> Alright. Let's kind of hope to use that in combat, but that was good. It was a good opener. Uh, Cap one's up. Um, I'm just gonna go with a basic attack. Um, can you move full range bands too, just to make it easier? Uh, instead of like the half, like either stay there or move all the way forward. Okay. Just to. Well, right in the would it be to here then? Yeah. Yeah. I I guess I'm just gonna go with a basic attack. See what happens. Uh, does this thing have any range defense? Um, it's adversary one and has one range defense. So upgrade and then one setback. Upgrade and a setback. Do 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 do. Oh, I didn't roll my fucking weapon. That'd be eight. Eight base damage, so that'd be nine damage. Um, okay. And that's it. Alright, so. You shoot the divine spark and you kind of like hits her and like it made contact. <coughs> Excuse me. She's not on the ropes or anything. Sure. Um, Castus is up. Oh shit. Come. Um, you guys should be adding. I oh, don't worry about it now, but um, two setback each attack for the fog. Sorry. Okay. Was that just for ranged? Um, yeah. Okay. And then, I think one for the, um, one outside is how I had it planned, so one setback for the water, fuck, I keep moving the map instead of, uh, outside of this circle. Inside of it, it's two setback for the moving water. Oh. I want to move towards so, her? Like, the water, the current starts to pick up, yeah, as you get into the second I wanna, ring. I want to move towards her? All right, that's probably about the end of your rope, too. Oh, fuck. Can I reach her? Uh... <laughs> um... You, it's two range bands. Probably, yeah, you can probably... You're engaged, yeah. Okay. I uh, swing. Be gone, foul creature. One upgrade, three setbacks. Got it. Three setbacks. One for defense, two for the difficult terrain by the whirlpool. So it's one for the standing water, waist high, and then an extra one for the moving water in the middle. So three, in their defense. Yeah. Fuck me. So as you're pulling on the rope, and then like the water is, the closer you get to the middle, it starts moving faster. Um, <gasps> yeah, so you get like this kind of off-balance swing, and she pulls back and hisses at you. Alright, and then it's her turn. Um... Will uh, 
Um, We're getting this bitch's head. That's going to be a trophy. He's going to um, move this way uh, to that intersection. And uh, going to try a impact spell or a manipulative one rather. Oh, boom, boom. And I don't have a generic arcana roll button, which I should. Don't. What a douche. Um, so plus three, five, ten damage. No pierce. On me? On cast list. Yes, sorry. It gets a boost, too. Yes. And I have one range defense. Oh yeah, we forgot about that. again. We'll see what happens. Advantage. All right, so she's gonna heal some strain. Um, but ten damage, uh, and uh, she's going to act. Does like I think doesn't yes. matter if it gets through. With that, so two and then two and then she's going to activate the manipulative portion of the spell and knock you back a range band. So which way? This way. Point like that oh, Okay. Wow. So like this, I think the this rope bolt does a rope energy. trip. No I think I think you're kind of going laterally with it. Yeah. Um, okay. But yes, yeah, so you get hit in the chest, and it's this massive impact. Just scoosh, and you guys see Cassius like basically skip a walk across the top of the water and then go underwater for a second to get back up. Like fuck. Whoa. <laughs> That's the first my... time you guys have ever seen Cassius like take a hit and get knocked back to. Um, she's a rude bitch <laughs> <laughs> okay um we can end there uh since we hit 10 this okay. combat's probably gonna take a little bit so Love it. to push good job but, uh we didn't die yet the the fog of war took longer than i thought i thought okay, it was ready to go it's cool it is cool yeah i wanted the mist to be a bitch I was, I was expecting you guys to split up, and then I was totally ready to have someone talk to her and, like, totally get blindsided by the fact that she can shapeshift into your friends. <laughs> but the rope was a fantastic idea. So, good job, team. Just wait till I use the pole. <laughs> <laughs> get the rope and I have the pole. Two, I have two tools. All right. Well... It's a big snake lady, and she is a thirsty girl. Hell yeah. It should be a hey, cool fight. Hey, you guys see my map mercer uh, things? No. In, t in Twitch? Pretty sick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot the pad. Looking. Oh, we got an ad. Awesome. All right. That was fun. Yeah. Yay. I think this is a it's definitely the scariest fight so far, which is how it goes. Good. It's very, very, <laughs> very scary. But it should be interesting. Bum, bum, bum. I think we're on to something. <laughs>